I think so often the hallmark of, of the work that I admired for so many years was always about just radical simplicity and you know distilling ideas down to the, the essence of what the idea is, whether that was Mac versus PC, the beauty of, of Think Different, or the amazing Silhouette's work for so many years. Historically, there might have been some polarizing perspectives around the idea of product demonstrations, whether it's like an, an infomercial or something that's sort of low rent advertising. I've just felt like there's an honesty in demonstrations. And if you do it right, it's sort of like you can't argue the, the facts. Um, you have to have that tr truthfulness. You, it has to be something where everybody feels that it's authentic and it's real and there is nothing in the way. And if you can take that honesty and you marry it with art or you marry it with emotion, I think you're onto something that's really special. And I think that's what, for example, Shot on iPhone as a campaign has done historically. A white border, shot on iPhone, didn't feel like a tagline. And it was just beautiful. It was beauty plus honesty. The evolution of Shot on iPhone has been keeping that same honesty, but then trying to mix that with emotion, to mix that with storytelling, and obviously create something that you're like, I cannot believe that that was shot on, on an iPhone. The first time that Shot on iPhone started to move it towards storytelling, and it was Michelle Gondry who shot a little film called Detour in 2017, and what's followed from that is that device in the hands of some of the most amazing artistic storytellers in the world, whether it's Damien Chazelle, Catherine Bigelow, Lulu Wang, Jason Reitman. Our approach has always been not only are we showing this emotional and beautiful output, but also it's about showing how you can get the very most out of your device so that it feels attainable. It was that same philosophy of the honesty of a demonstration mixed with a vibe and emotion that got us to behind the Mac. We didn't go out and shoot anything. Everything that was part of that campaign was found, existed. And so it was like, well, we don't have to make anything up. We just have to demonstrate that the Mac is center to those who are thinking creatively in different ways to change the world. And so we just, again, got out of the way and tried to just demonstrate that this is that this is something that is happening. This is already what the Mac is doing in the lives of these brilliant creative thinkers. You tie those beautiful creative thinkers with everyday individuals, again, who are using the Mac to make a difference in their lives. And you're onto something that's, again, honest, honesty mixed with emotion and mixed with beauty. What we have tried to do historically with AirPods has been, in a similar fashion, have just tried to be really specific and really Really precise in how we show what it might feel like to have a pair of AirPods in your ear.